here's your wrestling news for August 2nd, 2021. And your headlines for today include, Bray Wyatt may have foreshadowed his WWE release during the final Firefly Funhouse. Bray Wyatt already teasing a new character, top band on board to design Bray Wyatt's next theme song outside WWE. WWE considered adding Third Hour to SmackDown. WWE wants to bring Braun Strowman back for less money. AEW files very interesting trademark. AEW wrestler says he's finished with AEW. John Moxley and Sammy Callahan to team up for the first time in a decade. Current WWE wrestler says Roman Reigns is the most narcissistic WWE superstar, and more. We are starting today with Bray Wyatt, who was released last week by WWE, all in the name of budget cuts. With that said, it's been reported that Wyatt was creatively frustrated in the months before his release, and now his final episode of the Firefly Funhouse has got fans believing that Wyatt knew his departure was coming. In the segment, which aired on the Raw after WrestleMania, Wyatt said to Ramblin' Rabbit, No matter what's happened lately, we still have each other. We will always have each other. As a matter of fact, I feel great. I think this could be a brand new start for all of us here. A new season, new friends, and a brand new me. I feel reborn. Wyatt ends the segment with a simple see ya and a wave to the camera, and on Twitter, the fan who shared the clip noted that it seemed Wyatt was foreshadowing his own release. That's certainly one interpretation, but it's worth noting that WWE had plans for him to return, even advertising him for live events, so it's just as likely his actions in the Funhouse were part of his storyline. Wyatt himself responded to the tweet with a big red O, leading many to believe that Wyatt knew his days in the company were numbered by the time he cut that promo. Whatever the case is, Wyatt's departure is another head-scratching release by WWE, as he was one of the company's most popular stars at a time when they really need popular stars to bring in audiences after over a year away from the fans. Like all released superstars, Wyatt will have to wait out a non-compete clause, but the former superstar has already teased what he'll do next. On Instagram, Wyatt's bio reads, Cult of Wyndham coming soon, using his real name Wyndham Rotunda. It seems Bray has plans for another faction of sorts whenever he's able to appear again, but there's no word on who would be in that stable. Bo Dallas, Wyatt's real-life brother, would be a likely candidate, but there's nothing confirmed as of yet. Wherever Wyatt goes next, we're sure he'll be massively popular with audiences, as WWE's desire to cut costs may have cost them a lot more than money in the long term. There's been plenty of talk on where Wyatt will go once his non-compete clause is up, but we know he'll have another awesome theme. After news of his release broke on Twitter, Code Orange, the band who created his most recent WWE theme, made it clear that they'd be open to create his next wrestling theme. As to where that theme will be used is anyone's guess right now, but the former Fiend is expected to be a huge signing no matter where he goes next. Over to SmackDown now, as the blue brand is often considered WWE's best show, despite being shorter than the weekly three-hour Raw. During Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer revealed that WWE had discussed adding an additional hour to SmackDown and airing the final hour on FS1, with the idea being that it'll compete with AEW Rampage when it debuts on Friday, August 13th at 10 p.m. Meltzer explained that these discussions started over a year ago and WWE never acted upon it, partly because adding a third hour would mean Fox would have to cut the time for local news coverage. With AEW Rampage mere days away from debuting, perhaps some new programming is in the works for WWE, but for now, SmackDown remains a comfortable two hours. In June this year, WWE parted ways with former Universal Champion Braun Strowman as Nick Khan didn't want to pay his $1.2 million a year contract. Since then, it's been reported that WWE have been looking to bring Braun back, if nothing else than to keep him from going to AEW. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer confirmed that WWE are looking to rehire the former Universal Champion, but with some major changes to his deal. They're interested in having Strowman back at a lower price, but who knows what things will happen. I guess he's signed up to do a show in Qatar, so he's doing some indies, so he'll get a big payday off that. It was also noted that WWE couldn't use Braun as their main roster big man if he was to return, as Omas and Commander Aziz are both bigger than the former monster among men. 
reportedly charging indie promotions $20,000 per show, plus two days accommodation and travel, Stroman services don't come cheap. And with the Qatar show in February 2022 promising a huge payday, Stroman has plenty of options to consider in the coming months. AEW news next as the company has a lot of plans in the works and that seemingly includes something very important for one of wrestling's most respected families. According to a report from Heel by Nature, AEW has filed a trademark for King of Hearts, and the last word is spelled like the legendary Canadian family. This filing was registered on July 28th, but there's no word right now on what AEW has planned for this new phrase. It's been speculated that the term had been trademarked for the AEW casino game, but that wouldn't explain why Hearts is spelled in the same way as Bret Hart. In WWF history, it was Bret's younger brother Owen who often called himself the King of Hearts, and time will tell what AEW has planned for this very interesting phrase. AEW has been able to secure some great talent for both Dynamite and Dark, but they can't always get them to stay with the company. Danny Limelight's last AEW appearance came on the June 5th Dark, losing to Ethan Page, and now he's finished with the company for the time being. On the Indie Mayhem show, Limelight confirmed the news of his departure, but kept things open for a possible return. For the foreseeable future, you've seen the last of me in AEW. The door was kept open for a possible return one day, they spoke very highly of my work ethic and my work. I know I have a really good relationship with Tony Khan, he's an amazing human. Now Limelight is with MLW as part of Conan's new LAX stable and AEW fans will have to tune in to another show to watch him in action from now on. Jon Moxley is still with AEW and has had massive success since joining in 2019, but he's also open to working with other promotions. On October 30th, Moxley will be in Clive, Iowa to work a show for Wrestling Revolver, which is owned by Sammy Callahan. Not only does Callahan own the promotion, but he'll be teaming with Moxley in a reunion of their CZW Switchblade Conspiracy tag team. The pair last teamed together at the June 26, 2010 CZW Tournament of Death 9 event, and after over 11 years, fans will soon get to see the Switchblade Conspiracy back together. Now, Adam Page has been one of AEW's most consistent stars, and since 2019, it's been reported that the Hangman is in line for a world title push. That won't happen at All Out on September 5th, as Page and the Dark Order lost to the Elite last week, and fans shouldn't expect Page on the card at all. On Wrestling Observer Radio, Meltzer said how the Hangman not only won't challenge Kenny Omega at All Out, but isn't booked in any capacity for the show. We'll have to see who does end up challenging Omega, but right now, that looks like Christian Cage, as Adam Page will have to keep waiting for his long-rumored world title run. Back to WWE and Alexa Bliss is one of WWE's most popular superstars, and wherever she goes, her fiancé Ryan Cabrera isn't far behind. On Sunday, the happy couple were at the Chicago White Sox game, and the former women's champion was given the honor of throwing the first pitch, to a warm welcome by the crowd. Explaining why she overthrew the pitch on her Instagram story, Bliss said she was told to aim high at the start of the White Sox game against the Cleveland Indians. There had been a report that Bliss had requested to be let out of her WWE deal recently, but those rumors have since been debunked, and the Raw superstar was clearly enjoying a good time at this Chicago White Sox game. More from AEW as Mark Henry shocked everyone by debuting at the Double or Nothing 2021 pay-per-view, making AEW only the second company ever Henry has worked for. The WWE Hall of Famer is set to be an analyst for AEW Rampage when it premieres later this month and has signed a multi-year deal with the promotion. Speaking on the AEW Unrestricted podcast, Henry explained his reasoning for joining the company, saying, Where I was working before that, you know, for what I was doing, it was not enough for me. I was going to have to look for work elsewhere. I mean, that's, that's what you gotta do. You gotta look out for your family, I understand. But you know, I'm competitive, and I want to win and prove to you and everybody else that my efforts don't go unnoticed." In his final four years with WWE, Henry only wrestled a handful of matches, and spent most of his time sat on the sidelines, but now the world's strongest man has a golden opportunity to prove why he's considered a legend of the industry, now as part of AEW. 
And we're ending today with Mr. Money in the Bank, Big E, who's made it clear that he plans on cashing in on Universal Champion Roman Reigns. Since winning the title last August, Reigns has been on fire as WWE's undisputed top guy, and his attitude in the ring transcends backstage as well. Speaking to Sports Bible, Big E was asked who's the most narcissistic superstar in the locker room, and it didn't take him long to call out the Tribal Chief, saying that Reigns being narcissistic is pretty obvious. Today marks day 337 of Roman Reigns' incredible tenure as Universal Champion, and after dispatching the likes of The Fiend, Braun Strowman, Kevin Owens, Edge, Daniel Bryan, Cesaro, and Rey Mysterio, it's easy to see why the head of the table is beaming with confidence. Well guys, that's our news for today, please share your comments below! Also hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to receive all notifications! And as always, thanks for watching!